So I think this is a sign of really good luck, but I found this really cool sushi pocket guidebook for free at Auntie's Bookstore in Spokane. Which one's your favorite, Alex? Unagi, the freshwater eel. It's yeah, me too. obviously the best. Can't get enough of that There's stuff. There's one way to go, and it's the Unagi. So I've been reading up on my sushi in order to get a better understanding of the basics of sushi. And apparently, it's good to eat your sushi with chopsticks, but it's even better to eat it with your fingers. <laughs> so one of the main reasons why people start kendo is so they can get more active and they can get more fit through kendo. What's really neat about our dojo is that we actually have a lot of resources that can help people achieve that. Yeah, one of the resources is a special home running program that starts off as a walking program. What? Well, the balloons? Well, then it's time to learn, man. It's, it's a deficient person if you don't know how to blow them. Yeah, you gotta learn. <laughs> Oops! So Wendy Sinclair Sensei always packs something fun for us to do, and I think it's her challenge trying to pack something that we can't use as a weapon. Thank you for the balloon, Sensei. No, we need a happy. Uh-oh. I guess we could have done similar sizes. This one's a yeah, I was thinking that when I, blew, oh, when I blew mine up, I was like, I bet your mine's going to be small. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder what it's all gonna spell. Happy birthday, dear Sensei! Happy birthday to you! Yay! That was awesome! Oh, thank you! Hey, <laughs> at the end. Everybody say cheese! Cheese! When we go to taikai or tournaments, everyone brings in their shinai bag two shinai. We also bring our bokuto, just in case during training we might do some kendo kata, and we use the hardwood bokuto for that. In this bag, we've got bogu. Bogu is a protective equipment that you wear in kendo. We have dogi. That's that jacket, or that upper layer, that you wear in kendo. We also have hakama. That's that lower layer that you wear in kendo. Water, of course, we gotta stay hydrated, right? Men, that's the helmet. Kote, that's the gauntlet, or a glove. This is dol. It's kinda wrapped up, but in front of it we've got it. The dole protects the trunk of the body. It's also one of the targets that you want to strike in kendo. And the tarit protects your thighs and uh, everything else. All in one breath. So this is really hard training. We're back at the hotel. We're gonna. We're ready to to recharge your batteries. <laughs> we're gonna edit that one out. So most of our guys' divisions are over. We're mostly done competing as individuals. We've got Chris Ruiz all the way back over there. He's gonna start competing in the fourth degree black belt division. And everyone's warming up, getting ready for that. After that, we're gonna do some team matches.
Hey Alex. Yeah. Do we up? hear every time? Every single time. Every We're single not. time. It's a tradition. It's very quick to Yeah. It's Gucci. So that was another great Kendo Taikai or tournament. Alex Rossi from Spokane Kendo got third place, which was really great. And all the rest of us learned a lot and had some really good matches out there. So if you want to support Spokane Kendo, then make sure to like this page on Facebook, make sure to subscribe to it on YouTube, and make sure to share all of our content if you want to spread the word of Kendo. If you're in the Spokane area, then you can always check out Spokane Kendo. You can give us a call, you can give us an email, and you can always come by our trainings if you want to see what Kendo is all about. So, see you next time.